Hey all brothers and sisters, my name is Captain Meatshield and welcome to a game called Beyond Eyes. This is something that was recommended to me by a friend and I've not seen much of it, I've only seen like kind of trailers for it or a trailer for it, um, but it's got a rather interesting premise. You play as a little blind girl and you have a pet cat that goes missing, I think, and your job is, or your mission, is to go and find him. And you obviously... I think the, the scenery and the, the world around you kind of changes based on your perceptions of the noises you hear and the things that you perceive, which I think is a really interesting premise for this. And I, I know very little more than, the, than that about the game, so I'm really interested to see what this is going to entail. So let's get into it. Oh, I think this is us. Hello, little girl. Ooh. Is there any audio? Oh, there is. Okay. Very, very quiet for a good... Ooh. One day she received a visitor. Oh, ain't you a cute little spud? <laughs> Oh, and he's off. Oh, it's throwing us right into it, I think. So, this has got full controller support. Um, yeah. Oh, I like this, yeah. The world reveals itself the, the more that you move around. And you have a... You've not really got a limited field of vision. You retain... Memory of what you find. Okay. Oh, this is cool. This is a really nice art style. Do any of the other buttons do things? Can I can I run, or do I just have to walk around? I don't seem to be able to do anything else. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna see what else is lying around. I'm gonna just kind of map out the area. I think that make things a bit easier for getting around. Oh, oh, you're over there. Okay. I I I will come save you. I don't know, I don't know what might be in the way. We'll, we'll find out. Let's see what else we've got around this little house. This is where I live. This is beautiful. Yeah, no other buttons seem to do anything, so... Seems we're just going to trundle along at her own pace, which is nice. I like that she holds out her arm, or she holds out her arms in order to figure out where she is. There's a little woodpecker. Peck, peck, pecking away. I like that it's, it's highlighting the, the various sources of noise. This is some beautiful design, I really like it. Can I see more of this flower bed, please? There we go. Mum's been planting her begonias again. I don't know what... I, I don't know what a begonia is. <laughs> right, I think we just got to follow this path. Oh, I don't I don't like the, the, the camera controls. The up, the up and the down is... Oh, hello! And, and you've gone. Here we, ah, there we are. You have morphed into view. <laughs> the pair quickly became best friends. Well, oh, that's fucking cute. <laughs> uh, he's gone again. I I think we need a name for the cat. And I'm not entirely sure what to name him. Oh, God, there's a wall. Okay, hi. I'm, I'm glad I figured out that was there. I guess we're just following the path a bit more, aren't we? Ooh. Summer gave way to autumn. Ray's new friend now had a name. Oh, right. So it gets a name anyway. I didn't hear what she said. She clearly gave it a name. And I missed it. I, w I want to just change up my, my camera controls. Because I like my um, Y-axis inverted. 
When, well, it was already inverted. Right, let's... let's that's better. I you know, like it when you push... Essentially push up that it, it moves. Nanny. Nanny. Okay. Good enough name as any, I suppose. I want to go say hi to Mr. Woodpecker. Oh, oh, okay. I heard, I heard some mewing. Oh, oh, we just come to inspect the woodpecker. Oh, oh, hello. Ray missed Nanny on the days he didn't visit, but he would always show up eventually. This does kind of feel like a kid's book. I quite like it. It's got a delightful charm. Oh, are you off? Are you going to go and chase the woodpecker? Oh, uh, there's more wall. Okay. Come on, Ray. Oh, Mr. Woodpecker. You're... you're don't, you don't seem to be particularly bothered by me, which is nice. Oh, God. Oh, excuse. Could, you, could you instruct me on where the walls are? I, I'm having a little bit of difficulty. I, I'm, I'm, I'm getting around in my own time, which is, which is nice. You know, I'm independent. It's good. Come on, stop getting stuck on the bushes, please. Meow. Winter came. Nanny started to visit less often. Well, that sucks. I should have brought a coat. Oh, God, it is really, really bright. I can barely see a thing. And that's not a pun. That's not me making a blind joke or anything. Oh, I see you. I hear you. I see. Yep. Nani? You, you've gone again. Oh, there's another bird. Hello. What kind of bird are you? Oh, oh. Nice little table and chairs. A very cute and cosy little garden. I like it. Oh, oh, excuse me, excuse me, wall, wall. Right, come on, Ray. No. Just, just feel your way around. Oh, and we're, and we're stuck again. More bloody bushes. What's up? Has he gone back to the house or something? Or is he just wandering off and going on adventures? Oh, 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 I hear you. Over this way. Oh, I think we found him again. There we go. You enjoying the snow? You probably aren't. <laughs> it's not really cat weather, is it? You've got a fantastic little trot. Each time Nanny left the garden, Ray would worry, wondering if he would ever come back. Are you going off into that gate? Nanny! Nanny, come back! God's sake. Spring brought the garden back to life, but Nanny was nowhere to be found. Okay. Have we, have we got to follow through? Have we got to get through the gate somehow? Aha! We do. We're, ju we're just going off on an adventure herself. Ray missed her friend badly. One day she decided to go and find him. Well, this seems like a good idea, doesn't it? So you've just wandered off out into the world on your own. I mean, that's kind of how most adventures start, really, you know, but... I'm wondering... the... the... the wiseness of this... of this decision. Ooh. Bing bong. Okay, so we got some sort of, uh, clock tower. Is that gonna be a church or something? Maybe? I don't know. 
This game is really quite peaceful. I like it. I'm probably going to be saying that quite a lot. Uh, oh, I like it. And the thing is, I do. <laughs> right, okay. So we simply have to go this way. I would like it if you could move a bit quicker, Nanny. Uh, Ray, Nanny's the cat. Get the names right. You know. You know. Nanny. Yeah, that's the one. <laughs> oh! It'd be constantly spooked by birds, I reckon. So I'm just, I'm just going to follow this path, I think. It seems like the best bet. I feel like this is going to be like a little bit of a kind of visual novel slash walking simulator. Oh, okay. Ray wondered if Nani might have come this way. Well, he might. Cats do like adventuring, and they do like going through weird little gaps. So, up, up, and over we go. Yes, there we are. Very elegant, Ray. Well done. Nanny? Nanny? Ooh. Oh, okay. Bridge. It is awesome just to watch the world come into come into being around you. Because you think about it, when you when you haven't got vision of your own, it must be very much like this. Of you only have the rest of your senses, like kind of smell, sound, touch, and taste, and oh, oh, <laughs> oh, that's clever. Things were not always as she imagined them. Yeah, that is... I Oh, that is some really good game design. Excellent use of playing with perception. Uh, I don't think we should go down into the stream. And yeah, you could quite easily mistake one thing for another. Oh, I'm, I'm going to be interested to see what else they play with with uh, with that. What other things are going to be mistaken? Ooh, okay, okay. Let's, let's go between the rocks. Oh, clothesline. Who's, who's hanging up the clothes? Whoa, oh, oh! Okay, is, is, hmm, uh, what do we do? Do we go around it, or do we have to confront this? Oh, I can't, I can't confront it. So maybe I need to try and work my way around. So this is, this is the, the uncomfortable perception side of things, of mistaking simple and harmless things for... Something that they clearly aren't. So am I just going around it, or just go away? You mean birds? I'm just a little girl. Leave me alone. Mm. Don't like you lot. Oh God, oh God, getting all flustered and. Not sure where to go. Ah, okay. I, I we have an escape. Come on, Ray. You can do this. I believe in you. I think we're good. So maybe that was actually a scarecrow. But I don't know. Nanny, are you here? I need comforting. Where you at, cat? You seem to be doing better, though. You feel a little more confident in yourself. What's going on over there? Oh, it's a stream. Nice. There's a clever use of emphasizing uh, the sounds. 
There's a frog. Hello. How'd you get up there? Oh, you're showing me where the bridge is. Nice. Oh, God, I came on the wrong side. Sorry, Mr. Frog. I, I misread your directions. I'll follow now. Oh, off you go. Fuck. <laughs> he just went. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Or birds. Hello. There's a little bench. A load of chickens. Hello. Hi, chickens. How are you? Am I going through your gate? Am I coming into your enclosure? Or do I have to go elsewhere? Uh, I, I think I should probably wander around and explore. Make sure that I've got all of this area mapped. Or are we going this way? I think we might be going this way. So, I'm just going to explore the rest of this. I want to open up more of the land. So that I know if I have any other options as far as directions go. But I don't know how much, like, how sandbox or how open this world is. I think it's going to be fairly linear. Well, it's always worth checking out. Oh, I found a house. See, I wouldn't have known this was here if I hadn't explored. Is anybody home? Hello? I, c I can't get to the front door. Apparently the front doorstep is, is a bit of a hindrance and it's too much for my little legs to to get over. Never mind. Can we go and say hi to the chickens? We can! I think. Can we? Yes! <laughs> oh, I hope this isn't like The Legend of Zelda. Or am I just letting the chickens out? Is is that what I'm doing? So I feel like this might be a bad move. Hello, chickens! How are you all doing? You having a grand old time? I I'm just out for a walk. I'm trying to find my cat. Have you seen him? He goes by the name of Nani. I don't know if that's his actual name. I, I, he doesn't talk to me all that much. Well, he does, but I'm just not very good at understanding. So, you know, oh, excuse me, excuse me. I, I'm, I'm very much getting in the way. Could you, could you not go outside, madam? Madam, could you not go outside, please? Look, can I, can I pick you up? Can I pick you up and take you back to, take you back to your pen? Because I, I, I didn't think to shut the gate when I came in. So I think I, I'm going to try and herd you back in, if I could. You know, I don't I don't want whoever owns this building to get upset with me. Um, could you, could you, could you go back in? Yes, thank you. Oh, no, no. Go on, there we are. Thank you, madam. Can I, can I shut the gate? Please. Ray? Ray, could you shut this gate? You're not going to shut the gate. Ray, were you born in a barn? Okay, fine. The, the chickens are just going to run wild and loose. Uh, irresponsible child. Ooh, hello. Nanny! Nanny! You around anywhere? The music just very abruptly stopped. That's disconcerting. Oh, oh. Hi, doggo. Are you angry because I let the chickens loose? Please don't be. I, I, I'm sorry. I'm very sorry. Oh, I've got another bridge. Okay. It's getting me away from the doggo. Angry doggo. Nanny. Nanny, I need help. I, I, I upset the doggo. I need guidance. Where are you? 
This is just leading me back round to the other bridge. Am I just going around in a big old circle? I feel I am. Oh, what have I found? There's a rustling in the bushes. Who's that? Oh, Nani, what are you doing? You hunting? Oh, get him! <laughs> it's always fun watching cats hunt. We do that little hop and it's just like boing. Okay, so there's a lot more to explore than initially thought. There are very quite a few different paths you could go down. But I think I've backtracked as far as I can here. Opened up a fair bit more of the scenery, which is nice. Oh, have I actually got to go and explore this? It gave me some sort of pro Oh! Okay, it's just birds. I don't think there's anything I can actually do here. Alright, I'll, I'll wander my way back round and find the rest of the path. I'm gonna try and I'm gonna inevitably end up getting all OCD about clearing up all of the uh, kind of the white fog. Oh, that's 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 gonna drive me mad. <laughs> I always find that whenever I'm playing like uh, you know real time strategies when you've got like the fog of war, I always get meticulous with trying to uncover uh, the entire map. So I'm, I'm concerned that I'm going to end up doing the same in this. I, I, I managed to kind of desist a little bit. But I feel I may go over the top. Oh, we've refound the path. A couple of paths. Oh, there's, a, there's another bubble. Oh. Drip, drip. Hello. Is it, I heard a frog. Can I, can I yank the, uh, the thing? Is there a frog stuck in here? I can't actually get to the uh, to the well proper, so I can't actually pull the thing up. Can you look down it? Can you stick your ears in and see what you hear? Oh, it's another bridge. Okay. Uh, there's, a, there's a frog stuck in the well, apparently. Better than it being stuck in your throat, I guess, but... Now, Ray, I've got to call into question your, um, your parents. Are, you, are they okay with you wandering around... I mean, it, it, this seems like a fairly quiet neighbourhood, so I'm, I'm sure they'd, you know, have some confidence in you. But I do hope that they know where you're going, and that they'll be able to find you easily. Oh. Hello, cow. How are you? And exactly the same to you, madam. <laughs> Can I can I go and open your enclosure as well? And basically, this is this is one young girl's mission to fuck up the farming industry. I'm sure of it. <laughs> oh, okay. This seems to be a dead end. Well, hello, Ms. Moo. I hope, I hope you have a nice day. I hope you chew on some delicious grass. I'm gonna go and find my cat. And now I know why there were two lanes of tracks. That's clearly for a tractor. Clear, clear away all dis. Stop, stop getting obsessive over clearing out the map. Please, we'll be here for days. <laughs> I'm gonna try and explore the rest of this away from the bridge. Because I think the bridge is where I need to go next. It's There's the big old bing bong! Okay, well, we'll go and explore that. If we get round there. Oh, the other side of the, uh, the cow's enclosure. Maybe I can find a gate to let myself in. Free the cows! <laughs> oh, no, can't make it in, I don't think. And this looks like a, a rather precarious precipice, so I, I would not go further than that, Ray. I'm assuming this path is going to take me towards the, uh, the clock tower. Be it a church or something else? Oh! What have I found? Oh! He went this way! Supposedly. Is there, is there a trail of fleas, or can you just smell cat shit all down this way? <laughs> oh, 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 what's this? 
This isn't the clock tower, is it? I don't think so. It's just some sort of archway. Oh, no, that is where the bell resides. Okay. What sort of mechanism have you got in place for keeping track of the time, then? Uh-oh. Oh, that doesn't sound good. Oh. Oh, God, what's all that fog? That's menacing. Oh, I don't like that. Ray, what do we do about this? Have you got any ideas? Let's see if there's anything else that I might have missed. I mean, I know there was the, uh, the bridge with the dog on the other side. So we could maybe go back and explore that. Before tackling this. Whatever it is. Because this is... This is imposing. I need another woodpecker. Are you okay in there? Sir. Oh. Oh. It's a road. Ah. Oh, that's clever. Oh, that's clever. I really like this. I do want to see if there's anything else that I might have missed. I really do want to go back and uh, explore that other bridge as well. It's going to take me a little while to get back over there, but I'm going to go and do it. And then we'll come back to the, uh, to the traffic light. Oh, I found another thing. What is this thing? A load of boxes. What's making noise in the boxes? Oh! Oh, it's another house! Oh, okay. There's a much bigger house. Oh, nice. Okay, well, I'm back to the bridge, so let's explore over this side. Wait, I've been over this bridge. Okay, never mind. <laughs> oh. Getting confused. Okay, let's press the button. Give it a boop. Ooh. That was a very abrupt stop. Right. Let's go. Let's go quickly. As quickly as we can, Ray. Oh, hello! Don't mind me. I'm just going to find my cat. And we're through. Awesome! I can't go back this way, but there's loads of road signs. And stuff. Okay. Well, I really fucking like this. This is a lovely game. It's really peaceful, and it's really clever, and I'm looking forward to playing more of this. So you can definitely expect to see more of this game very, very soon. We will be continuing our little adventure to go and find Nani, and maybe see if there are any Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles underneath this manhole cover. <laughs> So I will leave this video off here and just say thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, check out the playlist on the channel for more Let's Plays or Metal Covers, and give this video a like or a comment just to leave your thoughts. And if you wish to join the ever-growing ranks of the Order of the Shield, be sure to hit that subscribe button, or maybe even consider checking out my Patreon and becoming an officer within the ranks. But thank you again for watching this video, and I will catch you all very, very soon. This is Captain Meat Shield, signing off. Never underestimate a bird of prey. Oh god, there's even more. Why why did I start a personal war with the Federation? This might have been a bad move.